Today I'm installing this St. Croix York pellet stove into my existing fireplace. This is a pellet insert, so it's made to go inside of a fireplace. I have already fed the, uh, the liner insert down, and I'm going to have to do some trimming to hook it up to here. But uh, I just wanted to show you what, you know, what it takes, what I'm getting into. Um, basically, there's a, a screen and stuff like this. I'm going, I already have this side off. I'm going to take the doors and the screen off. And I'm going to set them aside. Probably put them down in the basement. Just in case I ever do, you know, um, do away with the pellet stove and want to use this as an actual uh, wood-burning fireplace again. I'll have that option. But, um... This is going to sit, I'm not actually taking uh, this part out, I'm, I'm going to leave that all in there, uh, because I, I don't want to destroy this, and it's all um, cemented in, in place, so it doesn't, it, and it doesn't need to come out, this will fit right in here with it, uh, like that, and then the pellet stove came with uh, shielding to go around it, you'll see that momentarily, but for right now, I'm taking the doors and everything off and then uh and then i'm gonna measure where this comes out how, how far and cut the pipe and i'll show you that okay so this is the t uh t connection it's a uh increaser t it's three inch to four inch for the increase it didn't come with this specific pipe but it came with this unit i bought it used it also came with that piece which fits down in there really nice and I can secure with some screws. So I'm going to put this on the end. So what I have to do now is just figure out, I know where this is going to sit. So I'm going to figure out, you know, how far, what I need to cut the pipe at. That is mounted to there and it looks like it's going to roughly be about four inches. I need to cut it 14 inches up from. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna need to, from there, 14 inches up. Okay, so I'm gonna initially make a cut here just so I can put it in here straight and see where I actually need to be. I'm gonna push it down, then measure 14 inches up and make a mark where I will cut. Now, this can go up probably two or three inches. Um, can't go down a whole lot, but it can go up. So I measured twice on there. It's definitely got to be 14. And then this sleeve has at least an inch of, inch of play also. So if it's not perfect, you can make it up with this sleeve. You just have to have the screws in this spot here. Our silicone. I am going to put a bead of this uh, around this so it seals on the pipe when I put it on the pipe. So it'll make a good seal and then on the opposite side I will put a ring around there also. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple screws into it to hold it. All right. Now I'm going to put a good ring around that. Okay, I will now slide this on over that and uh, we should be ready for screws in this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. 
Early in there in the video, you saw how I had uh, the bricks in there. It's because I didn't have long enough bolts to uh, to use. Now I went and bought uh, three eighths by 16, four and a half inch long to make up for the, the short bolts. So now I just gotta tighten these down and that'll be set. And then I will show you, I made a trim piece uh, for the bottom here since it's, uh, there's a gap. I'll show you. Okay, that's what the trim piece installed. It's just a piece of, uh, of aluminum that I bent uh, to fill that gap. So now there's not a uh, not a gap, a noticeable gap at the bottom. Um, I hope this video helps you. If it does, please uh, please subscribe to the channel because that helps me, and I appreciate it. Thanks.